you're traveling to Luang Prabang in northern Laos, and you probably get one or two, well, indifferent responses, a blank stare or a rapturous review of what is quite possibly Southeast Asia's best kept secret. As those who have walked the picturesque streets of this elegant enclave of French colonial architecture will tell you, you're absolutely in for something special. Well, Adam Ford is editor of the Big Bus Tour and Travel Guide was recently there. He's here to tell us more. Adam, appreciate your time today. Um, I suspect many people will be in the former camp and don't really know much about it, probably haven't even heard about it. Why yeah, is that it? and what's changing? Yeah. What an incredible destination, I have to say, James. Full of culture, full of history, uh, great food. But it hasn't always been easy for Aussies to get to uh. Luang Prabang, which is the tourist hub, I guess you would say, of Laos. Um, and that's come down to restricted air access. Now, Laos has traditionally had I think the second smallest international aviation market in Southeast Asia. Now that's slowly starting to change. We're seeing more carriers flying into Luang Prabang, uh, in particular AirAsia now has direct flights from Bangkok and also KL. So that's really opening this destination up for Aussie travellers. But I promise you, when you get there, wow, phenomenal. Why? I mean, what is it do you think that really sort of elevates this as a destination? Look, I think it's a mix of culture, uh, history and food. Now certainly in terms of the culture there are lots and lots of highlights. One of the cultural activities that a lot of uh, visitors from Australia are going to want to see is Tak Bat. Now that's the morning procession of monks uh, that come out of, about, there's about 30 wats or Buddhist temples spread across Luang Prabang. All of the monks come out onto the street uh, at dawn, sort of around 5.30 to 6am to collect uh, arms or food from the townsfolk and just to get up early and witness that custom is just extraordinary. I've never seen anything like it. So I'd highly recommend that. Uh, but there are lots of opportunities, other opportunities to explore local culture including uh, the Traditional Arts and Ethnology Centre. That's a small museum which sort of focuses on traditional Northern Lao hill tribe cultural heritage and that's great, particularly if you're interested in buying a piece of handicraft, um, that's the spot to do it. Um, and the Royal Palace as well I understand is another worthwhile destination if you're there. Yeah, the Royal Palace is a really interesting chance to just step back in time a little bit. I mean, Laos had a very turbulent history over the past 100 years. Uh, the palace has largely been preserved as it was in the mid-1970s when uh, the royal family departed and of course the country's been a, a communist state ever since. What I particularly loved at the Royal Palace was the uh, display of state gifts and on display there you'll see a boomerang that was uh, presented by the Queensland Government to the Lao royal family in the early 1960s. So a little <laughs> bit of a local connection there. Fantastic. Look, we're seeing some, um, some vision of it at the moment. I've got to say, the architecture looks pretty spectacular. Yeah, so what you'll find in Luang Prabang, there are no large-scale hotels, but what there are is a lot of very small boutique properties of sort of three and four rooms, and a lot of those are clustered around the old city centre. A couple of the highlights, the Sofitel uh, Luang Prabang is just stunning. As soon as you step through the front door, you know you're in for something special here. I mean, there's just 25 rooms, so it's a very intimate wow. hotel. Uh, it's housed in the former French governor's uh, home, so there's that heritage element to it. And everything from the garden villas through to the pool, villas are really generously sized, high ceilings, beautiful period touches. Uh, the hotel has a wonderful spa and also one of the only uh, hotel pools in the entire city, I might just uh, add. If you're looking for something in the old city centre, have a look at their sister property. That's the Three Nagus Hotel by M Gallery. Again, a very boutique stay, just 15 room types there, uh, blending traditional elements with mod cons, uh, but a great spot right on the main street in Luang Prabang, so you can literally watch the world go by. Fantastic. And price-wise, I mean, is there a broad spectrum from, you know, reasonable to, to upper end? Is it, how would you term it? Yeah, look, Lao, by, uh, by Laotian standards, Luang Prabang is not cheap. So the, when you travel through the rest of Lao, you're certainly going to find it a lot more cost-effective than Luang Prabang. Having said that, it's pretty easy on the average Australian holiday budget. So if you're going out for dinner, for example, you can expect to spend around the $10 mark um, on a main meal. Um, so that's pretty reasonable. Certainly you, you'll do it cheaper in other parts of Laos, but that's what you'll be up against in Luang Prabang. Lots of fantastic places to eat. I'll just recommend a couple. The yeah, please do. Sofitel has a, yeah, the Sofitel has an amazing restaurant called the Governor's Grill. That's a fine dining experience. They've got great menu there, um, a 
wine list, impeccable service as you would expect. They do something called the buffalo tasting platter, which I absolutely loved. And I've got to tell you, I tried deep fried river weed with buffalo <laughs> jam, amongst other things. Uh, so that was wonderful. Uh, have a look at Rosella Fusion on the waterfront. They're a really simple, very traditional Laotian restaurant, but uh, doing great things with flavours. All of the food is cooked fresh from scratch. Uh, very unassuming restaurant but fantastic and I've also got to recommend the Tamarin just next door now they are doing an interesting contemporary take on traditional uh, Lao mm -hmm. cuisine and all served in a very contemporary setting so I thought that was great as well so they're just a few of the highlights look when it comes to eating out in Lao you're actually going to find that you can't really go wrong it's fantastic across the board that's what we like to hear Adam Ford appreciate it to have you on board wonderful to get uh, some insights into it thank you my pleasure mate